You've just unpacked your shiny new adaptive security appliance from Cisco Systems. This is, of course, your very robust firewall appliance, and you're ready to get it set up as quickly as possible. One of the options for you is the setup script, or what I call the setup wizard. When this device launches, it'll launch automatically because it notes that it does not possess an initial configuration. Let's walk through this wizard in this micro nugget. So here we are on our Cisco ASA. First things first, whenever we do a demonstration like this, I want to make sure you know exactly what ASA that we are dealing with. First of all, notice we are on an operating system here of 8.46, and we are on a ASA 5510 in this particular case. Notice we have Ethernet 0 slash 0 through 0 slash 3, and we have the management 0, 0 interface on this particular device. So let's go ahead and initiate this setup script. We do it from global configuration mode, but watch this. When we type setup, by the way, I think that's worth noting that that's probably not where you would expect to initiate this command. I would think that would be a user mode or privilege mode command, but it's actually a global configuration mode command. When we initiate the setup command here at the Cisco ASA, it says, wait a minute, there's not a management interface set up, and that is a requirement here. Okay, no problem. Now, if we follow the instructions explicitly, it looks like all we need to do is a name if command on that interface. So you could really essentially not use that interface by not putting IP on it. Let's try that. Interface management 00, name if, I'll just call it man, and that sets a security level. Now let's see if we can issue successfully that setup command. And we can, pretty funny. So all we gotta do is give the name if command under that interface. Notice I didn't even enable that interface and I did not set an IP address on that interface. Pre-configure the firewall now through the interactive prompts. Well, yes, indeed, that's what this micro nugget is all about. The first question is the firewall mode. Do we want this adaptive security appliance to act like a router? and be able to route traffic from one interface to another, or do we want it to act like a switch and be in layer two transparent mode? We'll go ahead and accept the default of routed mode. The enable password, we'll go ahead and set an enable password on this device. Allow password recovery, yes, that's fine. The clock settings, I'll just go ahead and accept the default. We're going back in time, dun, Da, na, na, Huey Lewis in the news. Management IP address. All right, what is our management IP? We'll go ahead and provide that. The management network mask. The name we'll call ours CBT ASA1. The domain name is cbtnuggets.com. The IP address of the host running device manager. Wow, pretty cool. So we can come in with a graphical user interface and manage this device. It's called the ASDM, the Adaptive Security Appliance Device Manager. And that address, let's pretend, is 20, uh, 1020.1. So it seems like it's going to be doing some security for us regarding the machine that could manage this device through a graphical user interface. Use this configuration and write to Flash. We will say yes. And now it's doing its magic. I love the warning. Hey, you need to go in and enable the HTTP server if you truly want to manage this device with the ASDM. So this question alone, us providing the IP address of the device that's running the device manager software doesn't look like that's enough. There's still configuration that we're going to need to do in order to manage this machine. Notice we did indeed get our new host name. So it looks like this setup script helped us and, and did indeed set up some stuff. Let's do some 
exploration here. We'll do a show run interface for the management zero slash zero. Did it do anything to the management interface? Yes, it did. Remember, we had provided the name and therefore a security level, and it did take the management IP address that we provided and it gave it to that management zero slash zero interface. Show interface IP brief, and we see that it did indeed enable that management interface. Let's do a show run and see what other changes we can isolate that we did with this script. As I said, certainly host name, certainly domain name, certainly the enable password. We can see it didn't do anything with our interfaces, so we've got initial interface work to do. We discussed the changes to management 0 slash 0. Then if we look in here, we can see our domain name set. And it should have given us an entry for that device that is okay to manage this particular system. And look at this, HTTP 10.2020.1, uh, what we said was the management station, it's allowing that traffic on the management interface. So this line right here, enabling the HTTP protocol to manage this particular machine through the management interface was indeed uh, successfully configured through our setup script. And that's about it. Now, if we go and we do a show flash on this particular device, we see inside here, there is no actual ASD. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that scared me. I thought for a minute there wasn't any, but there it is. There is the ASDM software in the flash. So let's just pretend that we do indeed want to manage this device through the graphical user interface. Think about it. The management interface on this particular device is now set up with an IP address. There's an entry for a workstation at 10.20.20.1 that could manage this particular device. What else might we want to configure? Well, if you had multiple versions of the ASDM inside your flash, you can use the command ASDM image, and you can specify the particular image that you want utilized. If you don't do this, it will go into the flash when looking for its ASDM, and it will grab the very first image that it finds. We need to make sure that HTTP server is enabled. That's done with the HTTP server enable command. And then the other command that would be required would be to allow our management station to come in and manage this device. But of course, that was already done as we saw with the wizard. So that's the setup script in all of its glory, or as I call it, the setup wizard. We can end, save our changes, and now we're ready to go with this particular device. By ready to go, I mean manage it from the graphical user interface that we can connect to the management 0 slash 0 interface in our case. Or, of course, we could go to the command line and we could begin to set up our interfaces. An example would be to go to the E0 slash 0 interface and begin our IP address assignments, our naming of the interface. In fact, I'll need to perform a micro nugget for you on the initial setup of interfaces and testing of those interfaces, and I will be sure to do that soon. In the meantime, I sure hope this micro nugget was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.